Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ryan, and um, I'm going to do my best to teach you guys how to play uh, Gold and Ceiling by the Black Keys on piano. So, it's a real loaded song, so I'm going to get right into it. So, let's see. Alright. Sorry for the uh, camera angle. It's kind of crappy, but we'll do our best. There we go. That would, that would be fine, right? Uh, let's turn this brightness down. There we go. There we go. Now everybody can see it. Okay. Um, first thing is this is not your typical pop song. Um, it's not. It's crazy. <laughs> it is really crazy. Mm. Um, there's a bunch of different parts to it, and I, I really underestimated like how hard it would be to really learn the song by ear when I learned it today. So I'm doing my best to try to teach you. Um, the song is split up into three chords. Uh, you have your F, and it's not an F major or minor. It's just an F power chord, kind of like a guitar. It's kind of neutral and it just it hits pretty heavy. So that's the F. Uh, the next chord, the progression would be um, an E flat, and then a B flat. So this is how I play. This is, it's really like the core chords to this song here. F, E flat, E flat. Um, it's, a, it's a kind of a long song to explain, so I'm going to kind of blow right through it. Sorry if I'm too fast or whatever. Um, I'm going to play each part full speed, and then I'm going to go back and I'll play it slower, and I'll try to give you some tips every now and then, and, but I'm going to try to really blow right by this one because it's, uh, it might take me a while. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the intro is uh, the guitar intro to it. Um, I play it, if you guys look at my actual cover of the song, which I highly recommend because it's going to be kind of tough to understand my interpretation of the song. So click on the link somewhere around here. Um, and I highly recommend it's make learning the song a lot easier for you. So um, come back when you've seen it. Um, but here, the intro. I play the intro in my interpretation with octaves, so I ended up just playing the same thing over each other, left and right, it's like, I'll play the intro, and I'll let you guys um, stop it yourself. So here we go, this is the intro, hopefully I don't mess up, it'd be really embarrassing if I messed up. So that's the intro for me. Um, I doubled up, make it sound a little bigger than it really is, but all it is is really just a one finger kind of deal, so we'll just do it on one, keep, you guys, keep it, keep it simple, simple for you guys. Um, we're starting on the F. Like I said, the F is kind of a major chord here. Um, we're going to start on the F, so one, two, three. That's kind of like how this pattern starts. And it kind of pattern kind of starts and works its way down the keys, as you kind of could tell. So the pattern is one, two, three, four. And this is the E minor, uh, E flat. So the pattern kind of goes from one chord down to another, one chord crawling down to another, and it goes ends up working its way back up. But here it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it goes from the F to the E, e flat. One more time slower. One, two, three. That's the first part. Second part would be down to a C. You can kind of hear that pattern again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so we'll go back to the F. We'll start it over. Okay, that's the pattern. Now, the pattern kind of changes it a little bit, but not really. It's just a little different. We're going to go, we're starting on the, um, the A flat, so it goes. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Instead of going back down, we're going, instead of going back up, we're going back down. So it'll be one, two, three, B flat. Back down to a low F. 
So I'll play the entire thing at like a medium pace. Okay, slower one more time. didn't learn that as fast as you want to, we can always rewind. I can, I'll be here all night, I'm sure. I'm going to move on to the next part, which is kind of a, it's kind of a loop, um, a, a drum loop kind of, just to get things going. It connects um, two different parts of the intro. Um, this is how I play it. Now, a huge part of my, my covers are I'm bringing back rhythm, this, this drum rhythm to piano. And, um, I end up playing this part like like a set of bongos, like both hands just going away at it, like having a beat. So if you can imagine like kind of beating away at the song, you know what I mean? Um, so my left hand holds an F octave, low F octave, so an F and an F. My right hand would hold a C and an F. Now. I'll just play the intro one more time and I'll show the transition into this part. So it would be something like this. Alright, see what I did there? Um, now it's a one, two, three, four count. One, two, three, four. One. Now, I'll play it slowly, I'll try to explain the rhythm, but it's kind of hard to explain the rhythm to somebody, especially if you're not there with them, so this is how I play the rhythm at least. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, and these notes, by the way, uh, B flat, A flat, F. Kind of connects it and brings it back around, it's kind of like a looping little phrase that brings it back around, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Alright, so that's the second part of the intro, which connects to the third part. So the third part is a little phrase up here. So what I end up doing is I bring my chords, and it does the same three chords, I bring my chords to the F little higher up, instead of going down here, I'll go up here, and um, first note is the F. I'll play it first and I'll explain after. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's that part. Um, I'll start on the left hand first. The left hand is just two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So you can't see what I'm doing here. I'm kind of splitting these up like I split these two up. I'm splitting these up now. But I'm using one hand, so it's one. Um, and then it goes down to a B flat. I'm oh, sorry, E flat, now B flat. F. So you hold each note four beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. Okay? So that's how that progression will go, and it goes for two measures. I think that's the right term. It's, I'm sorry. I've really I've never actually been formally trained in music, so I really don't know what I'm saying. So um, yeah, I tell you that halfway through the video, I really don't know what I'm talking about. Um the um, melody is on the right hand, of course, duh. and um, it goes like this. So I'll play it first. So I'll play it pretty simple so you guys can get it slowly. It goes 
goes, it hits, it hits the first note once. One, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, down. So I'll play it one more time through a, a slower pace. Into the verse when the singer starts singing and actually like the verse actually starts it's a, it's a long intro so um, the verse starts on a C same chord progression so I'll play the verse the way I play it and then I'll uh, teach you guys after so Complicated song. Um, so it goes. Okay, one more time through. I'll I'll play it slowly. part of the verse is even weirder, um, but I'll play it for you. It, it changes the chord progression a bit before the uh, chorus, so the chord progression changes slightly. So I'll, I'll play the verse, and then I'll go right into the second part. So. The verse, that little bridge part, it goes, this is how I interpret it at least, it's, there's no real words being sung, so it goes, there's a little like, now, now, hold on, before I start this, the chord progression of this, instead of starting in the F, it actually starts on the E flat, so it goes, It's only like two measures I think, so it's like So um, it starts off on the E flat and I have a I kinda put these two go as a C and an F. So all he goes one, two, three, four, one, three, four, four. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And this is a A F flat. to do before the uh, chorus, kind of build it up a little bit and go, we'll build it up, but you don't have to do this, like just some of the things I do. So one more time, I'll do, it's the E flat. Chorus. Alright, now the chorus does that same inverted chord progression by starting on the E flat, so it goes... I'm just trying to think up ahead of what I'm trying to say. Um, right hand, E flat. Left hand, E flat. So I want to play it first, and I'll uh, explain it. So it goes E flat. Basically, it just, the chorus goes under this chord progression. So, E flat, E flat, F, C, uh, E flat, F. <laughs> Sorry, it's tough. So it goes. Okay, I'll 
play it slower. I can't really explain it, but it's, it's there, so slow down the video if you can't get it. chorus comes in. That's the little little bit he sings. It starts on C, C, B flat, e, A flat, B flat, A flat. Now um, goes right back to the original chord progression for the actual chorus, starting on the F. I'll do it at uh, full speed. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me, um, but other than that, good luck, and I hope this helped just a little bit, um, have fun!